Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video, and today we'll be talking about the New York Jets adding a wide receiver. They signed Dante Moncrief, but before we get started, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary NY. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the podcast. New episodes drop every Monday. You can call in, leave me your question. I'll try to get to it on the show. Also, if you haven't checked out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Matt O'Leary NY gets you bonus Jets content. We're doing articles. We're doing podcasts. We're doing video. It's a whole lot of fun over there. So if you're interested, check it out. Link down in the description below. And of course, manscaped.com. Promo code JETS20 gets you 20% off and free shipping on any of their products, including the Lawnmower 3.0. Its skin safe technology makes shaving a breeze. Absolutely recommend manscaped.com slash JETS20. 20% off. Check it out. All right, so Dante Moncrief, 27 years old, 6'2", 216. He's had an interesting career. In Indianapolis, he had some pretty good numbers. His best year was in 2015 where he had 733 yards and six touchdowns last year in 2019. He was not very good. He signed a two year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers and he lasted five games in those five games. He had four drops. He was especially atrocious in week one where he had 10 targets and only three catches against the New England Patriots. Though in 2018, he was okay. He had 688 yards and three touchdowns with Jacksonville. So obviously in his career, we have some ups, we have some downs, but which receiver is he? Is he the 2019 version of himself where he has four catches for 18 yards in eight games played between two teams? Or is he someone who can get you 600 plus yards with four drops, which is what he had in 2018, same number that he had in five games with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2019? We don't know. I have no clue what to expect for him. Uh, that, that's the really bizarre part about this signing. I think, you know, best case scenario, maybe he is like your fourth wide receiver down on the depth chart and he adds, you know, a little bit of help there. Chris Hogan is expected to do similar things. In my book anyway, uh, both guys, I would argue, are, you know, past their prime and coming off a bad year. So they're hoping to catch lightning in a bottle with both Chris Hogan and and Dante Moncrief, at least they are veterans who have done it before. I would bet that at least one of the two are going to be able to stick on this roster and be okay for this team. They just need bodies right now. They are extremely, extremely, extremely banged up. Rashad Perryman's banged up. Denzel Mims is banged up. Lawrence Cager is banged up. The only one who really isn't is Jamison Crowder, who, yeah, he's a good slot receiver, but you still need help on the outside. So adding him to their wide receiving room is necessary. Like, I don't know what else to say, really. They, they desperately needed help at the position, so they went out and signed somebody. And no one who's really left is going to be really all that great. I mean, some people are going to be saying, why not Taylor Gabriel? Why not Paul Richardson? I don't really have the answer for you. Um, I probably would have preferred one of those two guys over Dante Moncrief or Demarius Thomas. Uh, Demarius Thomas is another one who... A lot of people want him back because he knew the Adam Gaze offense, which I'm not the biggest DT fan at this point in his career. I think he's okay. I would have understood if they brought him back because he knows the Gaze system. He was in the, you know, he was in it last year too with uh, the New York Jets. He's a veteran. I, I guess I'm okay with the Dante Moncrief signing. Like, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not angry. I'm not happy. It's just a right down the middle, like, eh, kind of feeling. They needed a body. They get a warm body in here. He's a question mark. Two weeks before the season, picking someone up off a of free agency. What are you expecting? He's not going to come in and save the New York Jets season. You know, like I said, best case scenario, he slides in and is okay and puts up similar production to his year in Jacksonville. Is he going to put up 600 yards? I'd bet probably no. I don't think he's going to have four catches for 18 yards either. I think it's probably somewhere in between the two if he if he sticks, which, I mean, right now with all the injuries, he's probably going to stick, but we'll see, man. I, I really don't. I Again, this is bad for someone who puts their opinions out on the internet. I just don't know. I have no idea how to feel about this. It's not great. It's not bad. It's, it's right down the middle. I would argue that it was necessary to add a wide receiver body, which is exactly what Dante Moncrief is. So let me know in the comments down below or on social media what you think about the signing. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary, and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs>